Hi, Jim Murphy, Elite Style Massage. Today's video is gonna be a follow-up video to my sciatica, or help with sciatica video that I've done. There's a condition called piriformis syndrome that gives you the same symptoms as sciatica, but it isn't sciatica. It's actually better news for you. If you've got sciatica, it stems from a lumbar disc issue, L5, L4, L5. Um, L5 is where the sciatic nerve originates from. I'll put a little picture up there so you can just recap what the sciatic nerve is and where it is rather. Um, there's a condition called piriformis syndrome that I wanted to talk about. Now, the piriformis muscle, again, I'll try and find a decent video to put up there. The piriformis uh, muscle sits directly on top of the sciatic nerve, the sciatic nerve goes underneath it. And when your piriformis is super tight, it presses on the sciatic nerve. So it does cause the same symptoms as sciatica, but it isn't sciatica. Now, simple release for the sciatic nerve is to just stretch it. I get people that have sciatic nerve symptoms. They do some piriformis stretching and it really does um, get rid of it or lessen their symptoms. Might not be a, a one session fix with it. You need to do a bit of stretching with piriformis if it is in trouble. But the good news is it is fixable, it is treatable. I get great results with my clients if I do work into the glutes and piriformis and stuff like that. And just, just kind of get things a bit more relaxed and a bit more lengthened out. You can really get a good result with this. So you can do one um, sitting on a chair. This, my favorite one is this one sitting on a chair because you can do it at work, you can do it at home. There's two that people tend to do. One is laying on the back and I'll show you both. One is sitting on a chair. The one sitting on the chair, you can just be sitting at your kitchen table or sitting there at your desk doing some work on your laptop and do this throughout the day just to give you a good stretch in that area. The second one I'll show you where you're laying on your back is um, it's same, same sort of stretch, but again, you've got to lay on your back. So you're either going to be doing it on the floor. You might not have a couch set up like this. Um, so I'll show you these now. So the first one is on the chair. Okay, so sit yourself down and the side that you want to stretch, put that ankle across the other knee like this and then just push that knee down towards the floor. So either using your hand or you can lean on it with your arm, just give it a real good push down and you'll feel that really stretching deep in the glute and piriformis area, okay, that you're stretching. I'll show you the other side. Um, so just put that ankle across the knee again like that and then just make sure you're sitting up straight, back nice and flat and then just push that knee down towards the floor and hold this for anywhere 20 seconds up to two minutes is really effective on this one. Right, so lie yourself down on a floor or if you've got a bench or anything like this, you can use that, would be great. And then just put that ankle across the other knee like that and then just reach behind the back of the other knee and then just pull it up towards your chest like that. And you'll really feel this as a deep, intense stretch in that glute and piriformis region. Okay, and I'll just show you the other side as well so you can see what I'm doing. So ankle across the other knee, reach in and behind the back of the other knee and pull your knee up towards your chest, okay? And hold this anything 20 seconds up to two minutes is really effective on this one. So those two can be really useful and play around with them, do both. But if you are sitting for a job or, you know, sitting at your kitchen table and things like that, do, do the sitting one, it's quite easy. You know, you don't want to be laying on the floor if you, if you can help it. And um, just do the second one. The other thing is if you're sitting in a position that's causing symptoms of sciatica, I always say to people, move, get away from that thing, you know, that's causing that problem. If you sit in your, your chair a certain way or if you lean into a certain side and you're feeling it lean to the other side if you're laying on a side in bed and you're getting problems with it try and lay on the other side or on your back i know it sounds obvious but sometimes stating the obvious uh, and affirming to people what they should do means they go oh yeah yeah i think i should try that um, if i lean to the left and it hurts my left side on my sort of lower back there lean to the right get away from it don't try and find the pain because it's like picking a scab you know if you've, if you've got that nerve that's in trouble and you know it's, it's firing all the time if you keep on it it and um, doing that same thing that's causing it problems. You know, you're, gonna, you're almost gonna keep it there and keep it problematic. So just try and get away from it and give yourself some release. Another time you can get it actually is um, driving. I know I get sciatica sometimes if I'm in the car for more than sort of 45 minutes because it's really hard to kind of change your position and try and get off. You know, I have to try and get onto the other buttock so that it's not causing problems because I normally get it down my left side if I'm gonna get it. Um, but the stretches like this can really help. Now, have you got sciatica or peripheral syndrome? Uh, piriformis syndrome, you won't know till you try these stretches. If you try these stretches and it gets rid of it, 
it's pretty much guaranteed it's going to be piriformis syndrome. If you're doing all the stretches and you know your, your mobility feels like it's good and you're not really sort of feeling much of a stretch when you're trying to stretch piriformis through there because they're pretty lengthened anyway, um, it's probably not going to be that and it will stem from a, a lumbar disc issue. But as always, if you're not sure, go and get it checked by a specialist, a doctor or, or a specialist or someone uh, and they'll be able to affirm what's going on with your lumbar. Um, and it's something that does tend to happen to a lot of us as we get older. As we get older, our discs tend to degenerate a little bit. We lose a bit of height between the vertebrae and things compress. You know, we lose some fluid, uh, get slightly dehydrated discs and we lose fluid from the discs and they tend to sort of make the, the discs and the vertebrae rather compress. And that's when it that touches the nerve and then you get these sort of, you know, this pain and the symptoms and numbness and tingling down the leg. Mine goes down as far as the foot when I get it. So it's, it, you know, it does shoot right way down, but mine stems from a, a lumbar disc issue. Mine isn't because of piriformis syndrome. But try these things. Um, you should find them useful and helpful as always. But with most things in the body, you need to keep on doing these things. You know, it's, if you're getting short and tight in an area, it's because of something you're doing. It's either a job you're doing or a, it could be a sport you're doing or just the way you're sitting or sleeping. You know, these things that you do for extended periods are the things that affect you most. So try and get on with some stretching and some movement for the body. Get treatment. Obviously, I'm a soft tissue therapist and I'm a big fan of getting you know, the muscles, tendons and ligaments worked on, you know, it's a real beneficial thing for the body. It helps me greatly with my life and my training and my work and riding my motorbike and all the things that I do. And I'm getting a bit older now. So, you know, you do have to look after the body more as you get older with things like stretching and movement. Um, but, you, you know, you do these things and it will serve you well. Your body will thank you for it. So as usual, um, any questions, I'll put my email address in there or you can put, put a question in there and I'll answer it. Um, if you, if you, this video has been helpful for you, can you maybe like it and give it a subscribe as usual and, and all that jazz? Uh, and I shall hopefully see you on another visit.